imagine being an attacker. You've got all of that armory, all your weaponry, you've got woolen clothes, which are going to get wet in marshlands here. Ortanga's defenses quickly had the Spanish in deep trouble. When they tried to construct the trenches, they would need to enforce a siege. They filled with water. When they attempted to move their artillery through choking mud, they were picked off by cannon fire. And when they finally resorted to full frontal attack, they were slowed by the boggy terrain and driven back by Bortanga's defenders on the high ground. You can see the fortress. You've got to get there. You've got to go up that slope. And if you do get up that slope, you are met with a rain of fire. And the clock was ticking. Dry summer was turning into wet autumn, and the Spanish feared getting cut off in the expanding marshes, losing their bogged down cannon to the rising waters and becoming sitting ducks for the Dutch. In late September, they withdrew leaving the rebel Dutch stronghold of Bortanga largely unblemished. The star fort design that the Dutch put in place here was so effective that it kept the Spanish far from the fortress's walls, and the siege failed. 